Hi there, this is a quick video in which I'm gonna talk about a concept found in Italian electrical accessories, that is, stuff like power blitz, leg switches, etc. that hasn't really been used a lot in the rest of the world, and so I thought it would be interesting to compare this North American electrical outlet with this Italian one, because well, you can clearly see that they're completely different, not just because the plug is different, but just in the overall shape and dimensions of the outlet itself. Uh, so let's talk about uh, how the North American one is uh, connected first and then I can show how the Italian one is connected. So here's the outlet again and well the way it's connected is you just wire it up and then screw it into the wall box and then the face plate goes on top of it and just screws in. And so now you have a complete outlet and uh, I've got another one here and even though these are from different brands they're still compatible uh, both the face plates and the device itself is the same size so that's pretty cool and so here's uh, the Italian outlet and you can clearly see that the wires just connect here but how does this screw into the wall box well it doesn't and so here's an Italian wall box, uh, which is actually compatible with the North American ones. And you can clearly see that this is never going to get into here, but just by itself. You need something in the middle, and yeah, this is what the support plate is for. The device just clips into the support plate, like this. And now this can screw into the wall box, right? And so now you have a complete socket, except it's kind of ugly and there are these holes here, so you have to use this incredibly ugly cover plate. Uh, and now you have a complete socket, which is pretty cool. Now the nice thing about the system is that, well, as you noticed, there are three spots for modules here. And so let's take, for example, a light switch. I can just add it here, next to the socket, and uh, I can also add this other socket, which is a 10 amp one, and this also connects here, as soon I have a dual socket and light switch, and actually the same space as a North American dual socket, and then after this I can just take the cover plate and clip it on, and now I have this, which is pretty cool. I guess it's slightly more labor intensive than just connecting one of these up, but you can see how this is much more flexible. This can be three light switches, three sockets, or a mixture, like in this case. So that's pretty cool. Now the concept of modular items was first created by the Bitticino company with their magic system. This is a magic system cover plate, and this is a magic system irreversible socket with a plug, and this is just mostly known as the magic plug, and it's definitely gonna get a video on its own someday, because it's super cool. Now these days it's more common to use a different style of modular items, in this case this is the Vimer icon system, and uh, the main difference uh, between uh, the magic or the clone magic uh, system is that the cover plate, which I don't have, doesn't need to have the holes uh, for how many items you're gonna use. The empty space is just uh, covered up by some uh, blank plates that go here, and so that's pretty cool. Blank plates were also used uh, in the magic system, um, however they were mostly used with the bigger style of uh, boxes, uh, because yeah, Italy has uh, multiple style of boxes, not just this one, and uh, uh, of course uh, for the bigger boxes it would have been very weird to make uh, so many styles of cover plates, so they didn't, they just made one with all the holes and you, you had to cover them up with uh, uh, blank items uh, like in the modern systems except nowadays we just use this for everything um, so that's pretty interesting and it's a pretty interesting concept that wasn't used uh, in other countries a lot there are certainly modular items used uh, in other countries for sure but there aren't really popular, certainly not as much as they are in uh, Italy, where this is just the default, this is how you do things. And so I thought it would be interesting to make this video for uh, viewers from other countries, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're interested in this sort of stuff, uh, you can check out my website, where I'm trying to document the history of uh, Italian electrical items and of other countries too, like these North American outlets. But anyways, thanks for watching this video, and I'm gonna see you later. Bye!